hear me rave about this game every single time I run into something that I love. Okay? It's so good. So fucking good. And again, they don't do that as much on the lower difficulties. They don't flank you. They don't really run around. They're a lot more predictable on the lower difficulties, and I don't want that. I just also, I want a mode where I have all of that unpredictability, but I don't have to deal with the fact that they have all that armor. Because throughout the vast majority of the game, they will have more armor than me. My armor is always going to be low because I am not good at the stealth mechanics. Pow. Goodness. Oh, fuck! Oh, wait, wait, wait. See? See? He crawled through there! And what other game will an enemy crawl through there that isn't a scripted event? Oh my god! So fucking good! I could just. Can I crawl through here? And I can't crawl through there. That is the one thing that I don't... Another thing that I don't like. Uh, however, I think it would have been very difficult to program this at the time. Just because other games didn't really do this. But letting me crawl and parkour over stuff like the enemy can would have been nice. But I can't. So, eh. It is what it is. See, it's fun. It's fun to roleplay. Oh, I completely missed that shit. The data's uploading now. Again, stories are told through environmental things like this. Do, 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 all right, let's just make sure I'm reloaded. I've played this game a lot, so I remember, I remember the parts where there are a lot of enemies. Oh, see, and sometimes they fall over, and it tricks you into thinking you killed them. And look at that. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Did you see all of my armor just fucking go away? Look at that. I could tell that I was still safe because of how muted the sound of the grenade was. The sound design in this game... Like, is... Like, in terms of gameplay, is good. But again, I just... The weapon sounds, I'm just not that impressed with. Oh, fuck. The slide lowers your hitbox, so you'll see me use that a lot. I mostly use slow motion to avoid grenades. And it's not because I'm trying to be a tryhard and like, oh, look at me. I don't use slow motion like some people who play this game do. I just forget to use slow motion a lot <laughs> just because it's not a thing that I am used to. Oh, fuck! Fuck! And like I said, with slow motion, you move slightly faster. So slow, the time dilation is five times slower, but you move twice as fast. Oh, fuck. So everything else around you is moving five times slower. But you are moving twice as fast. So you're you're still moving in slow motion, um, but you're moving faster than everybody else. And so it's, that's why it's a great tool to be used as an evade. Um, and like I said, I tend to only remember to use it when grenades go or when I hear a grenade, and I tend to forget to use it 
for when it's intended, which is when you're facing a group of enemies and then you can just mow everybody down all willy nilly. The game would be a lot easier if I did remember to do that. Um, but like I said, I'm not doing it to try and be a try hard. I'm just doing it because I forget. Right, this is something. This is the swimming mechanics in this game aren't great. And you'll see me kind of get stuck in a couple of places because of that. Now, I want to see if I'll have the opportunity to show you something fun about unarmed combat in this game. Uh, but I probably won't be able to show you for a while yet. It's just a fun little thing. A fun little quirk with unarmed combat in this game. Oh, fuck! <sighs> How did that... How did I get jump scared by that? Ah! See what I mean by, like, action game with horror elements? Like, this isn't your typical horror game affair. It's, you know, just got horror elements. Like, that, sh that isn't actually that frightening. The, the scary parts are more thematic than anything, which is, you know, fun. Fear Operative has engaged a second replica company, throwing enemy forces into disarray. SVOD-D teams are preparing to assault Armacam corporate headquarters. Enemy strength is presently unknown. The body found in Auburn has been positively identified as Charles Haberger, an Armacam researcher. Mission. Primary goal remains the elimination of Paxton Fettel. Secondary goal is to determine enemy objective in the area. Yes, any word on Jake Kelsey? No, but I found some human remains. Impossible to ID without lab work. Hmm. It can't be him. His life signs are a little unusual, but he's definitely alive. He's gotta be around there somewhere. I'll keep looking. Well, I sure hope they find him. Jack Kelsey is my greatest friend. And I would be very sad if he died. Sure. Will I have my opportunity? Is there somebody else in there? No, okay, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. So if you keep crouching and doing unarmed attacks, you do fucking wing, like, Ip Man punches. It is not, it is not intended, uh, and it's hilarious. Um, uh, in fact, people who speed run this game will primarily use that attack because it is the fastest way to kill every enemy in the game, except for a select, no, uh, like I think, except for one enemy in the game. What that? Duh! Ah! Just talking about how this game isn't acts traditionally scary, and you're going around scaring me like that. Hi. But yes, there's only, I think, one enemy where that doesn't kill them way faster. Jesus fucking Christ. I think it's because I'm getting into it because I'm talking that I'm more off guard because when I'm not uh, doing this, when I'm not let's playing, fuck. Um, I'm much more focused on what's actually going on rather than me like, you know, talking, so I'm being a lot more absent-minded, and so I'm not... I'm getting scared more easily. So something I'd like more shooters to get is better cover mechanics? Because, um, what's it called? The cover mechanics in games aren't great. They are not. Uh, oh, fuck. I need backup. Um, 
And when I'm talking about cover mechanics, I'm not talking about cover mechanics for enemies, I'm talking about cover mechanics for the player. Because, um, what's it called? In real life, now granted, take this with a massive grain of salt, this is what I'm, I'm, I'm talking uh, uh, out of things that I've seen other people say and not through personal experience, but in real life, in real gunfights, you don't, you often don't, like, hug your cover. You take a step back a little bit so that you're still in cover and you can pop out and see the enemy more easily. And in this game, because it is actually a more realistic shooter, using more real tactics of, like, you know, just putting the object between you and the enemy um, helps. Because, you know, you need to be able to shoot back. You can't just... You can't just be in defense and then pop out because now... Now, you know, your thing. If you move back and put it in and you lean out, you can see better. And they can't see you as well. And um, in, in video games without dedicated snap-on cover mechanics, it is far easier to do that than in games that do have snap-on cover mechanics. However, being able to distinct when you are in cover and not in cover is still very difficult and very annoying because in real life, you have kinesthetic awareness, the awareness of where your limbs and your body are at any given point in time. And you can change your posture to put yourself into cover more easily in real life than you can in video games. That was really stupid. That was really stupid. I should have taken the time to consider my environment and recon a little bit to figure out where the enemies are. Okay, good. They didn't notice. Oh, fuck. I also find it very difficult to predict the grenades arc in this game. I don't know if that's a me problem or a game problem. I haven't really analyzed it. I mostly use grenades for positioning. Anyway, oh, but look at how little, how much they hurt me. Fuck. All right. First official death of the playthrough, I think. And so it, like, this is an example of why I think it would be nice to have a difficulty where they don't do as much damage to you, but they still have the smarts. Fuck! I do not know what gave me away there. I don't know who saw me. My flashlight wasn't on. I do not know what gave me away there. So see how he was leaning like that? That's what I'm talking about. You kind of, you don't hug it and poke out or even lean out. You, oh fuck, I almost ran into that grenade. I thought it was that guy who threw it. Look at how they're moving. They're moving together not one at a time, and they're moving in opposite directions and covering each other. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Another thing about this game is that I kind of don't like, and I got spoiled by with Call of Duty, is how slow uh, your weapon switches are. Much more realistic. Uh, which, you know, that's a thing, but if I'm caught reloading, I want to be... My instinct, because of all the Call of Duty I've played, is to switch weapons so that I can, you know, start shooting faster. But in this game, it's really not much faster. Okay, so I'm out of my ultra-long-range weapon. I thought I got the other gun by now. The gun that I want. Let's see, they run. And regroup. There it is. Oh, fuck! Oh! Did not see him! Oh, fuck! So that's the- that is a fun part about facing a smart- See? Look at that! Did you see how many times I hit him and he didn't die? That's the thing I find annoying. 
And again, it's because they have more armor than me. Because <laughs> I lost all my armor. Oy. Man, what's the sit rep? So you can see why I say I wish there was a difficulty where the enemy had all the smarts, but, you know, didn't do as much damage. But say, hey, look, they're doing a lot less damage at a distance, just like me. So it's not unfair. I don't feel like it's unfair. I just, I, I want an unfair difficulty in my favor, you know? But like... Fuck. Oh, damn it! See? It is worth going through the difficulty to play this game with this AI. It's... It's really fucking good. Command, what's the sit rep? Still holding for orders. Remain where you are. Understood. Because, like, you get punished. For making mistakes. And see, look, it doesn't cover my head. Like I should, I should be able to be in cover here, but it doesn't cover my head, so I can still get hit. There's no reason why, as a character, I wouldn't be ducking lower. So that's what I mean by, I think shooters need to figure out better cover mechanics, because that is still a problem in a ton of shooters. It'd also be nice if leaning gave me iframes, but it doesn't. Uh, and there are other reasons why I would like to have iframes while leaning, but um, I'll talk about those later. They're not really, they're not really important right now. Hear that? Oh, fuck! Oh fuck! Oh! So yeah, your fancy melee attacks kill people instantly. Oh! What was that? Fuck! There's more! Holy fuck! So yeah, when they get that close, sometimes it is worth just ambushing them and hitting them with the flying kicks or the sliding kicks. It is fun. It is fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and quick save. This game fucking... <laughs> the saves in this game kind of suck, quite frankly. Um, and that's on purpose. That's on purpose. They're intending you to quick save. Uh, and I'm just really, really bad at using quick save because I'm spoiled by modern games. See what I mean? They kill you fast. They kill you fucking fast. Especially when you run out of armor, like I always do, because I'm not good at this game. And people in the comments, if they're commenting, obviously, are probably going to be like, you should be using slow motion more. And well, you know what? You're right. You're right. But uh, I forget to do it. Good. That's what I had wanted before, to take them both out before they saw me, so that they both died instantly. And like I said, the enemy does more damage when they ambush you too. Okay, I think, I think, oh, fuck. A lesson I keep learning. There's always more. Aha! This is my main loadout. These three guns. 
I wish you could carry four guns. In fact, there are a lot of mods where you can carry four guns, five guns, all the guns in the game. I decided to not play it that way because it does make the game significantly easier to be able to carry more than three guns. And so I opted to not use those mods. They are really fun though. I have played this game with all the weapons uh, being carryable and it's really, really fucking fun, you know. Um, oh, notice how when I switch, both pistols dropped. Pretty fucking cool detail. Um, you can also drop guns. You, you can lower them, but you can also drop them. Really fucking good. All right. Uh, so, yeah, no. I did want to play this game on extreme difficulty as honestly as I want. And so, yeah, no extra guns for me. Uh, no extra damage, no extra ammo, no extra health, no nothing. Not going to be using any cheats or anything. Yes, emergency workers. Oh my god, is that the time? Oh fuck, okay. Uh, I actually have got to go, so, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> with that, my friends, we're just gonna kinda break down here a little bit, have a fun little dance party with myself, and uh, yeah, Mick Flover Pants is over and out of this hizzy. Bye-bye, everybody.